Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we will learn about the Arya fruit. The Royal Air Force rule, also known as RAF near point of rule, is a routinely employed instrument in ophthalmology and optometry practices to measure near point of convergence and near point of accommodation. It was originally developed in the United Kingdom in mid-1950s to assess the visual ability of the individuals in the US military. Talking about the design of the instrument, it has four-sided cubicle target drum. Targets used are a reduced narrow chart, a section of general post office telephone directory, Times Roman typeface, and a dot on a line. Target 1, 2, 3 are used for measurement of NPA, and target 4 is used for NPC. The next part is the square rule, which is 50 cm long and has four sides which are marked differently. The first one is centimeter scale. The second one is accepted age scale. The third is scale indicating the positions of normal and abnormal convergence. And the fourth one is equivalent dioptric scale. At one end of the rule, there is 6 cm long cheek rest which is made up of plastic and has a V-shaped notch in the center to fit the notes. At the other end of the rule, there is a handle which is used for support. The target drum is held on a slider with which we can move it forward and backward. Measuring NP using RF fruit. The reduced nail and chart is used as a target for measuring NP. Start the procedure by placing the cheek rest on the patient's cheek Holding the rule inclined at about 45 degrees in the depressed position. Make sure that the patient is wearing spectacle corrections, if any. The patient is instructed to focus on the target one line above PCB. The patient is asked to report when the target becomes blurred as the slider is moved toward the patient from one end of the road. As the patient reports blurred, ask the patient to blink and try to make the target clear. If he or she can clear the target, move the slider further. If not, record the value which is known as the blurred point. Hence, the sustained blurred point is recorded as the blurred point. The recordings should be read from the reddest edge of the slider. After this, you have to instruct the patient to report when the target becomes clear as you move the slider away from the patient. So in this case, the blurred point of NPA is 12 cm and the break point of NPA is 14 cm. This procedure should be repeated monocularly by occluding one eye at a time using occluder. Measuring NPC using RF rule. The dot on the line is used as a standard target for measuring NPC. We can measure both subjective and objective NPC using RF rule. In the either case, the placement of the RF rule is same as in NP measurement. To measure subjective NPC, the patient is asked to focus at the target. The patient is instructed to report when the line separates from the dot, as the slider is slowly moved towards the patient's eye. When the patient reports double, ask the patient to blink and try to make the target single. If he or she can make the target single, move the slider further. If not, record the value which is known as the break point. Now, instruct the patient to report when the target becomes single again as you move the slider away from the patient. Record this value as recovery point. In this case, the break value and recovery value are 8 cm and 12 cm respectively. To measure the objective NPC, Examiner have to observe the movement of the eye. If one or both the eyes diverge from fixation, note down the value as break point. Move the slider back and look when the both eyes refixate. This point will be noted as recovery point. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like, comment, and subscribe our channel. Reach us out at optominside.com or the email ID given in the description.